to the cage, Lorenzo the Loke Carter. Lorenzo Carter might be one of the nicest guys, and I know to say that a lot, but he might be one of the nicest guys that has fought in the UFC. Just always smiling, always has a good attitude, polite to everybody he encounters, just an all-around good guy. Man, and watching him yesterday, like you said, just to play off of what you're saying, not only being nice, but watching him interact with his little three-year-old daughter, yeah. Lyric, yesterday, yeah. was, it was a sight to see, because not only is this guy like a super nice guy, but he's a great, dad too which is something that you don't see a whole lot sometimes a lot of days with you know guys like african-american guys sometimes you know they have that stigma that stereotype so it's good to see a guy like lorenzo carter be able to live his passion and be such a great guy and a great father on top of that you see his coach andy zerger greasing him up right now Andy Zerger, another guy that's trained about everybody that's ever fought in Wichita in the history of the world. I mean, Zerger's trained, if, if, uh, uh, Zerger's probably trained Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Andy Zerger has trained he might almost be old everybody. But, uh, you know, anybody that comes out of JMTK, they're generally going to be very comfortable on their feet. You know, Zerger is kind of Yoda when it comes to striking in the Midwest. Um, but, you know, Zoe's also done some cross training over at, uh, uh, sorry, at Valor MMA, uh, which is a lot more common these days, uh, cross training between gyms than it used to be. It used to be almost a little bit taboo. Um, and Zoe said that he's been working a lot on his grappling uh, ahead of this match. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, how, how he's brushed up and dialed in his grappling for this match. Let's head up to the ring with Chris Gerhard for the official introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest is scheduled for three rounds in the EFC featherweight division and is brought to you by Big Fish Bail Bonds and Revolution Lounge, home of tonight's official after party. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, this man is a mixed martial artist with a perfect amateur record of one win and no losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 144 pounds. Fighting out of Wichita, Kansas, please welcome Jordan the Ghost Apodaca. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a striker, making his mixed martial arts debut. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of JMTK, by way of Wichita, Kansas, Please welcome Lorenzo the Loke Carter. This fight is being sponsored by Big Fish, Bell Bonds, and Revolution Lounge. Sam Kleinback is your referee inside the cage. Apodaca in the black, Carter in the blue and white. Carter comes out with a couple of kicks to start the round off. Nice little one-two combination to the face of Apodaca from the Loke. Yeah, you can see right away Apodaca has a tendency to come straight in. And with his chin up, that is a, not a great combination when you have somebody with a whole lot of reach on you. You see Apodaca got caught with a nice couple of shots and immediately went to the takedown on Carter right there, Dan. Yeah, here's where we're going to see uh, how much of that focus on jujitsu uh, that Carter has been working on. Uh, you know, how, how much he's been able to gain in the last few months. Yeah, Carter said he definitely wanted to keep it standing yeah. and striking. And you can see he's almost, he was, um, Apodaca almost had the triangle. Now he had the arm bar, not the, not the leverage he wanted on it. Carter slipped out easily. Yeah, you got to get back that, into side gotta get control. those triangles a little bit tighter for those to sink in. So far, uh, Carter is not able to uh, progress a whole lot off the ground. Uh, pretty much everything he's thrown at Apodaca, Apodaca has been able to negate it pretty well. See a little bit of an up, up kick there from Apodaca. See Carter landing a couple of big shots from up above on Apodaca. You can see Carter moves over, trying to get side control on him, Dan. Yeah, Carter, he really isn't working with a whole lot right here. I think he, he is thinking about a, a choke, but he really needs to move into side control. He needs to push down that knee. 
better his position and just start throwing haymakers on top of Apodaca. Thinking about a heel hook right here. Mm. Nice transition to get out of that. Nice way to escape that heel hook right there, Dan. You can see they're right back in the same position, back to half guard, now in full guard. You know, the good thing uh, uh, Carter's doing right here is staying pretty patient. You know, he's not working too aggressively. He's not wasting a whole lot of energy. When he does get a little bit of space, he's trying for either strikes or for submissions. But the most important thing is he's not working near as hard as Apodaca right now. You see that a big goose under the left eye of Apodaca, who Carter looked to rain down a huge shot. On Apodaca, yeah, just couldn't get that. He's leverage. really got to get past that knee, or he's not going to be near as effective from half guard. Apodaca has exerted a lot of energy this round. See Apodaca really trying to control that head, keep Carter's head buried in his chest so he can't advance, can't throw any strikes, and Zoe just ain't having any of it. He's going to smash. He's going to smash. Oh. End of round one right there. Apodaca versus Carter, EFCA. Nice nice round one right there, Dan. Yeah, absolutely. You see a, a, a nice little mouse under the left eye of Apodaca, and you can also see a little bit of blood from that first straight cross, or that straight right hand from uh, Zoe Carter in, that, in the very beginning of that first round. Watching these two right now, I would say Zoe is definitely controlling the fight a little bit more than Apodoc, and he's certainly inflicted more damage. Definitely. Our beautiful ring girl, Casey from Supplement World, signifying the start of round two. You see, like, spoke with Carter yesterday, and he said he wasn't nervous at all. You could tell that he, he looked a little bit more calm than Apodoc did in that first round right there, Dan. Yeah, and I, I, I think that really is just not necessarily nerves, it's anxiousness, excited anxiousness, just straight adrenaline. Hopefully he got a nice little adrenaline dump out of that first round. He's going to calm down, be more patient, and try and pick his spots a little bit better in the second round. And I'm surprised because Apodaca said that he wanted to stand up, and immediately he caught a couple of shots from Carter, and he immediately went to the ground. Here you know, go. like Tyson said, everybody has a plan until they get punched until in the face. Until they get punched in the face. Start of round two here at EFC 8. Nice body kick there by Carter. Oh, Carter comes out and hits a couple of huge shots on Apodaca. Goes straight for that chin again. You can see the loaf is head hunting right now. He is looking to knock the ghost out. Man. And Carter needs to be really, really patient right here. He knows he, he damaged him. He just needs to be patient, get back to his feet, and just go to work. Apodaca needs to get his head out of the uh, guillotine territory, and he needs to do exactly that and take this fight to the ground so he can regain his composure. Carter's looking for the choke. Does he have the leverage? Does he have the leverage to finish this from that position, Dan? Does no, not like no. You can see the left hand of Apodaca is really, uh, on, really controlling the wrist fairly well. You can tell, though, by the look on his face, he's a little bit worried about the positions he's in right now. Yeah, you can see as Carter tries to pull that leg out, transition into either full mount or side control. As Carter raises up. He looks to rain down punches. Apodaca's yeah. going to give up his back right here? Yeah, he's, it looks like Carter was ah. thinking about an armbar for a minute. Transition flipped over and this then is bad news for Apodaca. He's gonna have to give up the back or take those shots. This is not where you want to be. This is that long <laughs> ride home. <laughs> oh my goodness. Zoe is just having fun right oh, now. Oh my He's goodness. A Carter is just looking to give him that LOC beat down. Apodaca is. This is not, this ain't no. good for You can Dan. see Carter just scooting up higher and higher. He's going to trap his arms and just beat the brakes off of Apodaca right now. See, referee, referee Sam starting back to right on top of yep. the action. You can see Apodaca is he's still trying, though, Dan. He he's, he's staying active, but if he's not able to defend himself, it'll take three or four good solid shots from Carter, and this thing may very well be over for less Apodaca. Than, less than a minute to go here in round number two. Can Carter finish him? He needs to push that head down just like that and just go to town. 
Throw as much as you can, as heavy as you can. This this thing could be over in about 45 seconds. You see, he's just, yeah. Apodoc is covering Stop. up. No answers. Carter can't really get a good shot. He's trying to make sure he's not letting any if illegal he, shots. Yeah. If he stays busy and keeps throwing punches, this ref is going to step in and stop it. He needs to get busy. He yeah. has 20 seconds. Can Jordan Apodaca survive? If he doesn't respond here, it's going to be over. 10 seconds to go. Referee Sam Klein back right on top of the action. Trying to scoot out the back. He could transition. Apodaca just saved by the bell right oh, there, man. Dan. He is dead. He, he is looks, still on the ground. He looks super gassed. We will see if he can answer the bell at the beginning of round three. I think I think they're actually going to ask him if he wants to continue in this, this next and final round. Our beautiful ring girl, Tiffany from Supplement World, signifying round number three. We also want to check the uh, the bleeding situation, see if there was a, actually a cut that would prevent him from uh, continuing. But they gave the thumbs up, so as long as he's... Got his wits about him, and he's ready to go. He's going to get some more punches to the face. Man, Jordan Carter said, look for me to have a big show here tonight. And I must say, he has definitely delivered on his words here tonight. Dan. Absolutely. He, 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 like you said, he just needs to keep what he's doing. He's, you can see how calm and confident he is. Don't change anything except for maybe be a little bit more aggressive. But he's controlling this fight 100%. He said he wanted to keep this fight standing, if at all possible. But... You can see he's went to the ground both times. Yeah. He's dominated both rounds. Yeah. You see Apodaca yeah, he's, is coming he's out. Mentally round defeated, number three. shaking his head. He's already frustrated, upset with himself. And you gotta keep your composure. We'll see if he's gonna answer the ref's call. All right, round three. Here we go, Will. Sam Klein back. Signals for the start of third and final round here. Both fighters come out firing head kicks, Dan. Yeah, you know, if you're Apodaca, you got to take this to the ground and try and get a submission. He's not able to get anything started on his feet. He's backing up. Nice, solid left hook not by quite Carter. There, though. Not all the way. Apodaca shoots in and mm. then finds himself in full mount in the center of the cage. And I don't know if he'll be able to last two and a half minutes in this position, Dan. Yeah. If, if Zoe just stays active, gets four good strikes, the ref is not going to let this go on much longer. He's really not able to defend himself very well. He's not able to improve his position. This should be over very soon. Apodoc is taking a ton of damage right now. He's taking a ton of damage in these first two rounds. And the third round looks to be no different. And as you can just see, the Loke is just, there we go. the Loke unleashes on him, and there it is. Referee Sam Kleinback calls the fight in the third round. And look at that. Zoe Carter, after he beats the brakes off of somebody, Tried stayed there, yeah, making sure he's okay. That's that nice guy coming out at him yeah. right there. Always be, always be cautious about the quiet nice guy. Yes. Uh, uh, that's what I say, silent but violent. The quiet ones are the ones that always should concern you. The big right. loud ones, that are, they're not. But the ones that are quiet and nice. Conor McGregor the is the exception, not the rule. Uh, <laughs> yes, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Great win by Lorenzo Carter here at EFC 8, the Battle for Blood 2. Yeah, there's really not a whole lot else uh, Carter could have done better. He could he could advance position a little bit better. He needs to work on the ground game, transitioning from half guard into side control and full mount. But other than that, did, did a great job. Worked well on his feet, worked well on the ground. For an amateur and for the start of his career, he did an absolutely great job. And much props to Jordan Apodaca as yeah. well, because he could have easily called it quits in the first or second round. And he came out and he gave it his all until the ref finally had seen enough. Yeah, and you, you see that from time to time. Uh, you know, people just realize that they're getting outclassed and would rather not go through another round of face punching. But, you know, he answered the ref's call, came out for the third round, and just didn't work out for him tonight. We'll see him back. Like I, have, John, I have a feeling we'll see them both back. Like John Witherspoon said, you win some, you lose some. But you live. You live to fight another day. 
<laughs> Let's head up to the ring with Chris Gerhard for your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee has called a stop to this contest at one minute and three seconds into the second round. Third round, declaring your winner by TKO, Lorenzo the Loke Carter.